You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's good, man? We live from Cali. See it? Bill Nation. All my platinum heads on the wall. Look at that shit. Records, buildings. Quill, what's up, man? Daylight. Yeah, you know, uh, finally I get the, um, I get the watching event. And um, I must say, without me on the court, uh, without, without me on the card, this shit is very wet. Do you agree? Uh, I know you can't speak on that, but it's really not popping. Right. When I got on stage, I think I got a bigger reaction than almost everybody had been on stage. Right. Um, but other than that, man, um, you know, I said, man, I get to watch this event and I get to really see how much battle rap needs me, bro. This event. Needs me. But you know. Are you talking about the antic side? Yeah, I need an antic right now. These mm. people clearly don't want to hear these niggas rap. Mm. Am I lying? These niggas is rapping their heart out and the crowd is like... Mm. They want to see something happen, bro. It, it, they paid $50 not to hear you say a bunch of fucking words. They paid $50 to be amused by something. Word. If, if you was to do an antic, you know... Battle of the Bay, what would it be? I mean, have you thought about it? I would have really drove a car on stage and ghost riding the whip, like off the stage. Really? And it's a scrap. some fish shit? <laughs> You know how I get Now, for all the for all the people out there that say, you know, Daylight ain't got bars, man, that Quest McCody was kinda ill. That's a lot of kinda ill, bro. I got battle rap in my hands, bro. This is really good thing. Daylight versus Arsenal. Daylight versus Absol. Daylight versus Disaster. Daylight versus Arsenal again. Daylight versus Charlie Clip. Daylight versus Chiller Jones. Daylight versus Quest McCody. Daylight versus Head Eye. Daylight versus Rich Jolly. Daylight versus. That's really. Bro, I can count down the list, bro. Mm. Tonight proves that based on what I did with Quest, I ended the year. I ended the year with me versus Aver and me versus Quest McCody. Mm. Those are the last two big battles of the year. And those battles fucked it up for 2015. Because now, everybody's like, did y'all see that Daylight versus Quest? That was crazy. And to see these niggas battle after that? Word. Now what about, you know, the small room? Has the small room taken over? It might be the new best thing to do, bro. Some of these battles that they will if, see. This is the thing. You got small rooms are designed for people to hear because for one, you don't have an open bar. So you don't have drunk people. Most people are gonna be off his weed and somebody might sneak in a bottle. But other than that, you don't have a crowd full of drunk people. You have people that's there to listen. Also, you have no microphone, so there's no distortion, there's no none of that. So you have people there to listen, they can catch everything, they're gonna react. These big rooms. Microphones, all this shit is not designed for words, man. These microphones at this venue is designed for rappers that come in here and rap over a beat. It is not designed for acapella rapping because there is no treble in the fucking mics. It's all bass. So big stages are not meant for words. That's why Hitman is the reigning champ of the big stages. Arsenal, not taking away nothing from Arsenal, but he's animated. You know what I mean? These people dominate on big stages because they're entertaining. Words is not built for this. Word. Word. So, you know, why um when you get to the big stages, you know what I mean? You do the things you do. I mean, you know, what, what, what you don't think it need to be changed? Like, could, could your bars change it? Yeah, my bars could change it. Huh? I think I have something that nobody have, which is an element of surprise. And with that being said, 
you know, uh, me, and, me and Quest McCody was technically a big stage, you know what I mean? It was a pretty big stage with a lot of people. So like I said, when I step on stage, I have people that glue their eyes to what I'm about to do, and I have the other half of the crowd that is my true fan base that glue their ears to what I'm about to say. So I'm different, bro. I, I don't have these type of problems. Like literally, other than Pat State, other than my Pat State battle, when have I ever got booed? Oh yeah, Calico, but they was clearly hate. But other than that, I don't get booed. Yeah, bro. now why why did why did you get booed at the Pat State battle? Because it was a bunch of white people that that was like rap nigga. This is what they wanted me to do. A bunch of white people wanted me to rap. And I said no. Yeah. And, and, and do the people don't pay for that though? Yeah. But in all honesty, I rapped. Yeah. They, 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 and then when I did rap, they booed because I was a slave. So a bunch of white people hated me for being a slave. Yeah, yeah. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame radio. Now stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. Fucking jam right there!